Who knew where this is going? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was an emergency train a train driver. That, the, the, being a driver definitely has a rock star status on this podcast. Really? Being a train driver. A driver. Yeah, well, it was an emergency train driver because it was a guard. I was a guard. In the space where you go home, where you go home I had a pen on me, did a poster. Um, I went back to work. And I'm in, I'm in the foyer at Hammersmith. There used to be a phone booth there. Not a phone booth, a photo booth. Oh, yeah, God. so I would go in there and i write the crew that I used to be in with Scam. The Reckless Bombers, yeah? And... Jesus, the, the curtain just yeah. opened up and it was two policemen and they were like, oh, excuse me, we thought, we thought you were wanking in there. I thought I was a dirty man, a dirty old man. I was like, no, I'll just... No, no, no. Open. Killer, killer, podcast. Killer, killer, official .com. You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Yo, Nolan Poland Records for underground classics. NoPolandRecords.com Box created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. All right. Buckle up, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London or as central as you need to be. You don't want to be anywhere else reporting to you live. Big shout out to all the regulars, all the sharers and carers are spreading the gospel, spreading the word on the street culture. Hold tight, my boy Pulse ILC for this one. Big shout out to nopolandrecords.com and uh, strangestation.co.uk. If you've got a television app, you know what time it is. You know what time you don't even need to be. You need to be on there, looking away, having a look, get involved, street culture, sporting arts, all that. Free download, Android, iPhone. Well, we keep coming in, man. And without question, we've got a legend inside the place of, a, of, a, of, a, of an era. A bygone era, shall I say, as cheekily as I may say this, but it's the truth because this man isn't just graffiti. He's, 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 he's the embodiment of street culture, in my opinion. From Ortega skate, skateboards, right through to the rub clothing. Um, uh, Ladbrook Grove original, Tabernacle hold tight, Scam hold <laughs> tight, all crew hold tight, Chase, TCM inside the place. Oh my God, thanks, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. How's I really appreciate that? it. that? Wow. 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 <laughs> I'm, yeah. in, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it's, it sounds good as it looks. If you ain't listening, you're watching. Oh. He's live in the flesh and inside the place. How you been? I've been good. I've been yeah. good. I'm healthy and that's all that matters, really. Yeah. My family are happy, happy and healthy. That's all that matters. You gave me, I, don't know, I hate to be rude in advance, what? but you gave me your age and I'm like, bro, you know, not look your age, bro. 29, yeah. 29. <laughs> and, and you know what? You know what's, you know what's 58. <laughs> <laughs> or 7, 57, bloody hell. But it's, uh, it, it, it goes to show, man, that the fountain of creative youth keeps us warm and, and, uh, and healthy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And uh, you've just got to keep it going. you just got to... Keep creating, because mm. that's what it's about. You gotta keep creating. You gotta keep. I don't know. Just looking forward. Mm. You know, don't you look backwards at things you've done, but look forward. Always. First generation of mm. hip hop, essentially. First generation graffiti in the UK. Yeah, well, I mean, I I, it sounds it sounds impressive, um, but I di it wasn't at the time. You know, you don't know that. You're just doing what you do as a youngster. Mm. You know, but. Um, yeah, when I look back on it, it's like forty odd years, mm. you know. So it is quite a quite a while. Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, big up Etch, of course, and, and big up Code as well. Who's, a, who's a, yeah, a, a Code, Code, code big up, well. big up Code, big mm. up Etch, big up Scam, hold tight, Scam, Scam one. Uh, loads, there's loads, loads of them. Like, I've forgotten. Bunny, bunny, well. bunny, yeah, Bunny. Wow. I mean, they will be tuning in, I have no doubt about it yeah, right I, now. I, uh, last time I saw Bunny, he said to me, um, when I first met you and Scam, we saw you from looking at us from a bridge. <laughs> oh, yeah. we, thought, we thought you were going to beat us up. And I was like, no, no way. We thought you were from South London, you know? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, South Kilburn man, so, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, right. Um, Labrick Grove is where you uh, yeah, yeah, grew up. Grew up, up yeah. yeah. Let's talk about that 
Oh, you know, if you haven't checked out the Scam podcast, that was a, that's a really uh, detailed account on it from his perspective. Mm. But you guys were very much in, in par in terms of career yeah. trajectory. Yeah, at that's this. right. So let's talk about Labrador Grove for its time and uh, back in the day stuff. Like uh, Labrador Grove was just, uh, it's not, nothing like it, you, you, you see it now. Yeah. Um, it's, it's like there's loads of people walking around with money and, you know, it's just, it just wasn't like that at all. It was corrugated iron everywhere, huh. you know, uh, mashed up buildings still from basically from the second world war there were dumps still in in the in labor grove what, what, from the second world war really? bombs what, what mines of just loads of no stuff. no just but you know bombed out buildings yeah no it's, but like like what just yeah just piled dumps, high dumps you know we used to play in them as kids yeah yeah we it was it, was, it sounds mad it sounds crazy mm. but you gotta understand the I was born in 65, mm. so the war was 20 years before that, and 20 years is nothing. Nothing, really. It's nothing. Mm. So the war was 20 years before that, so we used to play in all those, you know, bomb sites, the old mm. bomb sites. We used to mess about, injure ourselves, you know, get... I was in the hospital every summer holidays because I was from tetanus injections. And all kinds of <laughs> really? Of <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you couldn't write it. Yeah. It's like you didn't know for one second, just put some prohibited signs. Like, like, no, it out. wasn't like that at all. You know, we're, we're really, we're coddles. We're molly coddles. Mm. And, uh, you know, we, it was rough. It was really rough. But you don't know it while you're in it. Mm. Yeah, you don't. Mm. Because no, no, that's no. what it is, you know. And it's just yeah, it, it it it's just of its time. It's just what yeah. People forget to understand. And also the other thing that uh, that I'm thinking or have been thinking recently with regards to the state of the world right now, that actually becomes the future nostalgia of of these that's sort right. of facts and realities. No, people right. may never understand what no. went on. Now you had to be there. You had to be there. You had to be there. People didn't have cameras. Didn't have phones with mm. cameras on them, and so you didn't film anything. I, I haven't got any pictures of any graph I've done. People have sent them to me. <laughs> Seriously. Because really? it wasn't that kind of thing. We'd just write it and go. Mm. You know, I think Scam had a camera. He's got a load, you know, yeah, yeah. Did, he recorded a lot of I stuff. I can imagine Scam. Yeah. But, um... Archives. Oh, afford a camera, a yeah. camera. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of money and too much money to be so forward and thinking that it would ever amount to anything. No. That's right. Yeah. You just miss it. My mother thought I was a criminal. Yeah. You know, I remember saying to mum, "Oh, listen, um, some guys coming to watch us uh, film. Yeah. Some to come to come to film us graph, and I'm, it's going to be on the it's going to be in the newspaper." Yeah. And uh, <laughs> she was like, "Oh, good, yeah." So, but, and then it came out, and it was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> the, the the cover was <laughs> this man. Thinks he's an artist. London Transport calls him a criminal. Either way, his life is on the line. And it was like, and this was the cover I had to show my mum. And she was like, what? Oh, my God. You know, what is this? You bloody criminal on the front page of the... D oh, it was... <laughs> I should say it to you. <laughs> yeah, I'll show it to you. I'll send it to you. That's incredible. These are so informative times. Like, this is... This, this just doesn't... It's so... I was thinking about this earlier. This is it's it's such a trivial time where it's a given that these things ex graffiti exists and stuff like that. Yeah. It, the, the idea of that that must have been like um, <laughs> as as powerful and as and 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 fear fear mongering to a, a, a family member. I guess the equivalent. I mean, they they were doing shit like with AIDS commercials back yeah, in the day. You know absolutely that. horrible. It's terrible. So tombstone then, and all yeah, that. Yeah, all that with yeah, the tombstone yeah, falling. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you ever seen that AIDS commercial? That, that, I mean, that, that you'd be up for an extra hour to when it should be bedtime for That's that. That's right. Yo. But oh yeah, they just did things that were were triggery, weren't they? Mm. To try they and stop did, this yeah. thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but the thing is, people carried on doing what they had to do. Mm. And without even thinking about it, you're doing it. Mm. You know, you're doing it, whether they're calling you a criminal or this. And mm. as a youngster, they're calling you a criminal was a good thing for you. Mm. You know what I mean? For as Amongst your peers. Mm. You know, oh yeah, I'm a, yeah, mm. they got me down as a, you know, I'm mean, getting nicked and, and they're taking us down to the police station. And then trying to tell us that we're, burgled somewhere else so they um, only did that so they could take our shoes away and you know um 
check the prints under our shoes. That's what they reckon. Oh, right, right, right. You know what I mean? So we walked home without shoes on. So what, were they pro- was it kind of a profile attempt or just... just, just... No, it was just, just annoyed. We were all black kids who, who were nicked. Right. There was another white guy with us. Um, we were graphing on, on, on the line there and yeah. uh, we see uh, some torches coming mm. down this way and some torches coming this way and we're like, okay, run across the... the um, the lines and oh. go over the wall and get over the wall and there's about four or five vans. Jesus. So they trapped us. There's no way out. So they nicked us and they took us away and just planted all this shit on Who us. Who were the writers at the time? Um, it was a guy called Sly PJ, which you would not know right. because he, he's the guy I first wrote with. Sly PJ. Sly PJ is his name, yeah? Because okay. we, I didn't, it didn't start off as... Chase, I started off a slick, so it was slick and sly. We tell oh, yeah, no line. That's so slick. <laughs> if you knew his real name, you'd yeah. understand why that is very, um, very apt. <laughs> slick and sly, we tell no lie. That's what it was. And um, he was another really talented artist, and he had painted for uh, two years, right. and that was it. And um, I really, I really, um, I'm gonna tell him that I was here today yeah. because he. he I want him to know that I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. A, big up Sly. Yeah, yeah, big up Sly, man. We, we, love, we love new names on the podcast. Yeah, Sly PJ, man. Yeah, you won't find him anywhere. No. There was, a, there, there was a lot of, it was, like I said, it was a huge, you know, Ford march with just the whole youth culture being behind the grafting. And Labrick Grove really was the, the this is just to my estimation and assumptions. Yeah. It really was like the, the, it's where it the came. home of, yeah. It's where it came. It was like an unreal tab, man. You know, it was, it was just, it had to be, it had to be there because, because of how people lived. We had nothing. So, and we found this, we saw hip hop. I mean, you know, first time I saw Wildstar, that would just change my life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was like, my God, that's me. Mm-hmm. Look at where they're living. It's like they're living in the same kind of situation we're living. And it all makes sense. It all made sense. It all made sense. You, you use yeah. what you have, yeah. you know, use what you have to promote what you want. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? And uh, we were, yeah, we... It, and the thing is, I'm saying this, like, I, I, I knew what I, we were doing. No one knew what we were doing. Mm. She said there were so many people doing it, there was different kind of ideas coming out. So, yeah, you know, it's like we were saying earlier on, it's like, um, mm. you know, you get ideas from other people. So the more people do, the more people do, st- do write or do any kind of art, it gives me an idea that I can, oh, oh, well, I can put that here, or yeah. I can do this here, I can, you yeah. know, we got all got to do it. Yeah. Right? Art is life. Is this, yeah, <laughs> very much so. I mean, if you ain't walking on two feet by now, people, you've got a serious problem. You need to be start getting influenced, you know what I mean? But it's true, you can overthink that. And there was always, I don't know, coming up, especially in hip-hop, there's always this, uh, you know, street culture, there's always this stigma of, like, be original. Sign at a door, no biting aloud, and shit like that. Mm. It's like, well, it's how you interpret something. I mean, you know, Bowie did an amazing job of that. <laughs> you buy it, you take, you, yeah. you know, you see, you know, we talked about how hip hop has influenced all of our culture. Mm-hmm. You know, it's t- from, from clothing to fucking music to, yeah. you know, all kinds of shit. So, yeah. you know, and not only that, punk as well. For yeah. us, punk was like, it was a bit scary, mm. but I could get it. I got mm. punk. You know, I yeah, because you again, Labrick Grove was, was synonymous for the more hipster crowd of the Hawkwinds, the Motorheads. Yeah, yeah, right. Do you know what I mean? So this was, it wasn't just, you know, it was the birth of, of, of the UK's uh, uh, embassy of hip hop, but, mm. but there was also this, there also was the surrounding genres of punk and rock, wasn't punk there? Punk and rock and. Uh, um, who uh, who are they called? Bad, bad audio, di- big audio, big audio dynamite. dynamite. Yeah, they were from around the area. Of course, you know we. Uh, you know, I used to say I remember watching um, Big Audio Dynamite one Sunday on the TV, and then going out to account, going out saying to the girl I was with at the time, "Yeah, I'm going skating." Open my door and I see him walking across the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. and I just watched him on the TV. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. That's mind blowing. Yeah, it? it's crazy. Now, now you don't see that kind of thing so much. No, you don't. You know. You don't see people walking around. People, people now have got this kind of thing that I am famous, mm. and you're plebs basically. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're definitely not everyone. There is, you know, there are people who are, you know, 
settled and grounded. But there, are, you know, there's a lot of uh, you know people who feel they think that they, they're higher than you, or bigger than you. Or, yeah. You can't be like that. Graph certainly puts the world sets the world to rights where that's concerned. It's like you can respect a writer. You can respect, but but and it doesn't always come from the, the style. It can come from how frequent you're getting up. Yeah. But for the Joe public, you may not like it, but you can't escape you it. You can't escape You've it. You've got to respect it. You, <laughs> you have to in some capacity. <laughs> Listen, I put something on, on, on Instagram once, and this like, my wife is Irish, and uh, we her mother was got really ill, and we went for a week. We ended up staying for, because her mother took a fall, we ended up staying for three months. So I wanted to, you know, I wasn't creating, I wasn't... So they had horses in a in a kind of stable, but the horses weren't. They didn't have horses anymore. Mm. So I used the stable as a place to paint. Really. And so I started putting some stuff up and on Instagram. And some woman said to me, that was at college. She said, "I don't like this. It's really I just don't understand it." I goes, "Well, you know what? It's you know hip hop has a culture. Mm. You know people. Ha- it, it isn't just there. Mm. It's been going for a long time, and that's what you don't respect, and that's what you don't like." Mm. And I ended up saying to her, if you don't like it, please just turn it off. Yeah. Don't look. Yeah. It's not yours to, you know. It's... Yeah. So in the end, I called her, uh, I called her. Um... After 6.30. Yeah. And, uh... No, 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 no. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't a, a... <laughs> I just called her, I can't remember what it was. I, I said to her, um, you're uh, passive aggressive. Oh, yeah. I said to her. There's a lot of them around. Because she, she was really nice at college. Yeah. She's an old woman, 60-year-old. Old woman, mm. I'm nearly there myself. <laughs> you know, she um, she was really lovely and really lovely to her, but, but this is what social media does to you. You can be aggressive because you don't see anyone. <laughs> you can just write things about, yeah, 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 you know. Mm. And she, I, you get, it just shows what you really think. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. if, the, if the physical equivalent was to be what people wrote on their pages, there'd be World War Three right now. It's, do you know what I mean? It's madness. It's madness I, 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 I try, you know what? My Instagram's gone dead. You know, anyone else can get on it, but I can't. You, I can't. No. For some reason, I don't know why. But, you know, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. You're not. You're not missing anything, though. No, no, <laughs> no, you're not really. I'm not. Sorry. Creativity is quite an incident. But you mentioned the sheds there, and and very similarly to the Instagram account getting hacked. Like to the real true creatives, is quite an insular personal thing, and. Perhaps with the, especially with graffiti as well, just mm. sticking to the, the script for Sorry, a second. Yeah. I mean, no, 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 it's cool. It's just a podcaster. <laughs> but, it, but, but you know, there, there is this. There's some theories that that come into play. Like, like again, outside of the tenaciousness of like getting over walls and jumping mm. into certain places where you shouldn't be, um, it's quite an insular place, isn't it? It is. It is. Um, yeah, it is. It will. F- you know, for to tell you the truth, I. I um, I knew a lot of artists, graph artists or mm. graph writers, as they really, really are. Um, but I'm not a joiner. I'm not. Mm. I don't join clubs. I don't. Um, mm. I'm not into that kind of thing. I just. I'm a pretty shy kid. I was a pretty shy kid. That's why I was able to get into the graph mm. because the hip hop was like the. You know, there was. Disciplines of the 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 um, the breaking, the mm. rapping, the this, the that, but the graffiti was brilliant because you could go out, do your stuff, no one knows. You just mm. a tag, leave a tag, and done. And that was that's how I I've kind of lived my life to tell yeah. you the truth. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I love that. Get in and out and done. No one knows what you're doing. Is it? Wasn't What are you talking about? SAS. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? well, there is SAS too. <laughs> give me a give me a crazy graffiti story where you're on your own and no one could ever have told that story apart from you. This is, this well, I'm on my own. Yeah, because oh. you, you know, yeah, yeah. in that insular way, give us something that you know. You, you, you may have mentioned the story once or twice, but you've never had the opportunity to really elaborate. Okay. On well, um, I used to work for London Transport. Yeah? Okay. I used to work for London Transport, and um, I used to do a. There used to be different shifts, and there was a shift called split turn, where you go in in the morning, six o'clock. You work till twelve. You finish at twelve. You come back at six and work till nine. Yeah. Okay. In the space where I went home, mm. 
I designed a poster for, I don't know who it was, with a pen. Yeah, yeah. with a graph pen. Yeah. You know, editing, whatever. I think. Oh, God, yeah. I can already wear this going. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I still had the pen on me. Now, I used to work for London Transport, but I was a ticket collector. Uh-huh. I was an emergency train, a train driver, mm-hmm. yeah, a guard emergency train driver. And then I went down to being a ticket, ticket collector at Hammersmith. That, the, the, being a driver definitely has a rock star status on this podcast. Really? Being a train driver. A driver. Yeah, well, it was an emergency train driver because it was a guard. I was a guard emergency train driver. Guards used to open the doors. I don't yeah. know if you remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There used to be a guy, someone at the yeah. back of the train just opening the doors, let them on. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Old school stuff. Oh, that, yeah. was, that was what I used to do. Right. And um, then I, it, it was just, I had to be in morning at a certain time, at six o'clock in the morning, it was just too much. Long time, yeah. So I ended up going back to being a ticket collector. It was easy work, you yeah. know I mean? Good money. Yeah. But after doing that split turn, in the space where you go home, where you go home I had a pen on me, did a poster. Um, I went back to work. And I'm in, I'm in the foyer at Hammersmith. There used to be a phone booth there. Not a phone booth, a photo booth. Oh, yeah, God. so I would go in there and i write the crew that I used to be in with Scam. The Reckless Bombers, yeah? And, Jesus, the, the curtain yeah. just opened up and it was two policemen. And they were like, oh, excuse me, we thought, we thought you were wanking in there. I thought I was a dirty man, a dirty old man. I was like, no, I'll just... No, no, no. Open. So they took me around to the Hammersmith Police Station and I went for a DB discipline, discipline, in front of a disciplinary board with London Transport and they saved me. <gasps> Which was kind of cool in a way because this is how all this, this all started for me. Because it's like the coolest story I've fucking ever heard of my oh, life. Oh, I ain't finished bro. yet, mate. I ain't finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to go to Tabernacle. Yeah. I used to do the uh, drawings and stuff and there was a woman there called Jenny and she asked me to write this thing. Focus 86, because I used to do graph, mm. and you wanted to do it in that graph kind of style. So one day I was skating down Labbert Grove, and I skated past this woman, and I looked at her T-shirt, and I was like, what the hell is this? I went back, picked up my board, went back, and I looked at her, and I was like, where'd you get that? And it said, Focus 86 on it. I was like, whoa, 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 how, how? I had no idea how to print, yeah. how I got yeah. on there, how... She goes, oh, I got it from some guy on All Saints Road. So I was like, yeah? Let me get up there. Whoa. So I got up there and I was like, oi, geezer, this is my, this is my artwork. What are you doing, Lonnie yeah, yeah, D? Yeah, yeah, Lonnie yeah. D, where's my money? He goes, listen, I can't give you any money. I can't give you any money. But I can offer you a job. You come up here three days a week, I'll teach you how to print. I'll teach you how to do this. So I was like, yeah, cool. And that's how it all started. Wow. That's how it all started for me. That's the, the, the rub started from there because he was a... He organised the rub basically. He got it started. He got the building. He got the 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 the. the he had a print press so we could print the t-shirts. And it's just life's really odd. Wow, that's incredible. Life's really odd. Like yeah. things, you know, you just got to take a, you know, just do what you got to do, yeah. because it'll open up. You open as I just said before. You open one door, it opens yeah. three others. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, you take one path, it opens four others. Yeah. You know, and it depends which path you take. Yeah. Yeah, you got your receptors on for sure. Mm. There's an energy as well. I'm mean, about getting too spiritual on it, but it's true. Uh, sometimes, um, with the efforts that you make, or at least intention being handled right, mm-hmm. you get to where you want to go, and you don't you even do. realize it. You yeah. do. You don't. You, you know. You have no idea what's going to happen in life. You know, it could go one way, or it can go the other. You know. Or the other, or the other, yeah. you know. But your intention, if yeah. your intentions are good, you'll get where you want to go. Yeah. You know, you just got to follow the path, you know. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Um, segueing off a bit, because we will get to the rub, oh, 100%. Yeah, the, the Ortega skates. Now, I, I, skateboards, and I, I know that's a little bit later, but I, I'm really, I want to tune in a bit more into the street cultures, because you said something really quite profound um, when, when we first mm. met, and, and you said, you, you mentioned fly posting, and, you know, you walked up here and you'd seen some stuff, and, and that, you know, there was something quite um, romantic about the idea of, like, old posters and the way they're peeled apart, yeah, yeah. showing dates and times of things. And brilliant, brilliant. Love it, love mm. it. Um, time as time goes on. And the thing is, they wear mm. as well. The colour goes a bit dead. Mm. You know, they get ripped off. Some of them might, you know, it might be a kid who might rip a bit off and it just, that's art for me. Mm. You know, that, that 
that that ripping off and and then seeing the layers of other posters underneath it. Sickest shit ever. Love it. Yeah, and, but but you'll see that. I used to go to the halls of fame and just uh, see the paint. Sort of like thickness of mm. paint, nearly falling yeah, off. Yeah, falling off. But their layers. There. This is this is life. Yeah, yeah. And if I what I've done is um, I peeled that off, mm. and I want to stick it on canvas. That's what's, but my, that's what I'm working on at the moment. That's so sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Time. Time. If they're like um, lifelines of a tree. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Hey, oh, that's a good one. That's a good way. Sure, yeah. Like... That's a brilliant way of doing it, actually. Ooh. <laughs> <Yeah>. Ooh. <laughs> but, the, but flies are the same. And 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 why I bring that up is because um, you really do street. Cult. You've done it all. You're like like if we're talking about a fucking podcast here that does music and street cop. Yeah. You really are. You really do embody that from now to your age. Now you've done. You've done it all. You've skateboarded, graffiti, hip hop. You created your own t-shirt brand, you've got a clothing brand. You created mm. your own skate brand. You 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 made the the, the, the skateboard. You tested it and and, That's and right. rode it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now you're like you're into your motorbikes and you do cra- like this isn't this isn't everyone's kind of idea. This is beyond adrenaline sports. This is like actually somebody that invests and participates. Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose you're right. Um, it's 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 lovely hearing someone see um see you in you at that kind in that kind of way because i don't see it like that at all but listening to you is making me feel oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know what i did do yeah. <laughs> but it's not only me it's lo- there's yeah, loads there's of, of us here. that are doing it, it. you yeah. know it's not only me there's loads of people that um you know you got to speak to edge mm-hmm. edge is another one what a great skateboarder mm-hmm. one great Mm. draws Mm. fantastic Mm -hmm. characters Mm. you know what I mean and he can paint he paints good as well so there's Mm. loads of us there's loads of us out there Um, I've got we had a writer called One Up Naheem a friend of mine yeah 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 yeah. I hadn't seen him for 20 years someone died he was at the funeral and uh, and we talked and he's now a portrait artist oh you know so and he's good I mean he's very good so you, you know Mm. You know, life goes on. Mm. You know, you just got to do it. You mm. know? Uh, do you think the resource, because you just mentioned there about being, you know, going on to greater things, mm. you know, because you guys from the generation, the first generation, do you think, oh, God, spicy, all right? It's going to get spicy, on, so let on. me just steer this carefully. <laughs> all right, so my generation... Mm. Especially because I can only speak of that. But your generation is what, a, uh, a generation just below mine, is it? Or just... T- t- maybe two, 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 two up, yeah. Wow, two, wow. Up. But, but that's, that, my point being is that it comes from a place of privilege where we're just eating off the things that you guys as foundations created. I'd say so. You, to really, to really um, contribute in my generation, mm. you've really got to be doing what something that somebody else hasn't already done or doing because mm. people are still looking back they're old enough to look back and see our oh, right, so we're, we've already got a XYZ we've already got a da 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 so what are you actually bring into the creative yeah, yeah, pool yeah, yeah. you know nowadays you know and that's 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 our own cross to bear yeah, uh, generation X um, but what, what I will say is um, this generation now they're they're squandered a little bit more where um, the opportunities aren't so much no, there for them no they don't have the opportunities and no. I would not like to be I would not like to be uh, 16 now. Can you imagine? No. I mean, I big up all my crew, you know. Yeah, no, I there. love them and I respect them and all the rest of it, but it's hard work. Yeah. And I respect that, you know, so just do what you got to do. Uh, Except don't hurt anyone <laughs> while yeah. you do it, you know. I think that's the hardest bit as well. Yeah. If you're getting into graffiti or skateboarding or anywhere like that, the real life lessons are in front of you with you know, shiny blades and yeah, just crazy, right. oh, my God. you know what I mean? Just madness. It's just, it is madness. And it just, uh, and I can't blame the kids. What well, you know, I, well, I, you know, obviously we, it's politicians. Uh, it's all politicians, you know. Yeah. If, they're, if, they're, if they're meant to be the teachers. Yeah, they teaching us they're shit. teaching us shit. When you look back on the conservative government and what oh, they've done, man. from Grenfell to f- oh Grenfell, that was just oh. it's disgusting. I just can't. Oh, God. Uh, Grenfell, uh, man, I, I, that was. Uh, this is this is how bad it was, right? That the night of Grenfell, 
I was in my bed and I could hear helicopters flying around. I'm like, oh, fuck, you know, who are they after this mm, time? Mm, mm, mm. And that's how they've made us. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? They've made us like this now yeah. because I, I didn't even look out my window. I was like, fuck, you know, I yeah, just want to sleep. Right. Yeah. Next morning I woke up, put on the news, and it's like, oh, Jesus. It's all popping off, yeah. We used to skate under there. Mm. You see Grenfell underneath in his garage. They, they, you won't see him now because they blocked it all off. But there's garages under there. And there used to be a bank, and we used to me and my good friend Sasha Bowling. We used to skate there. Man, when we were nine, ten, <sighs> eleven, we skated there for years. You know, wow. all around there, you'll find that there's little banks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to skate them banks. You know, and then to look to look at Grenfell and think, wow, these people. They knew this stuff was inflammable. Mm. They knew it. Mm. I woke up in the morning, rang my friend who lives across the road, a woman I know called Anne-Marie, and she she was crying her eyes out. I had a terrible night, mm. a terrible night last night. Mm, mm, mm. People, We could see the people yeah, in their it. houses, yeah, 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 yeah. and the place is burning, and she's ringing them yeah. and telling them, your place is, get out, get out, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing a bit of art on that. Yeah, actually. yeah. I'm for real. A bit of art with that. And the outpouring of it from the community, because we, you know, we're not too far from. We, you could smell it and see it. From yeah, wow. right here. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Wow, wow. Uh, wow. Just, and the outcry, and still, yeah. Even though it's been emphasised, people like Stormzy, people mm. Glastonbury, you know, the, you know, there's not just charitable events. There's actually covered in, like. <laughs> Massive events, carnival. You know, it's yeah, just, that's right. The focus is the, on this this thing, and it's still not being recognised. They, they, you know, who, who's been uh, <clears throat> accountable, made accountable for this? No, no, they're kicking a can down the road, and they don't. They're, they're they're jokers, man. They're jokers. And I, um, yeah, I, you know, I don't like to run anyone down, but politicians, uh, ah, uh -uh. you know, that's what that's what I think about them. You know, they're just jokers. In a gentrified, gentrified uh, world we're in, mm. um, and you know, talking about this, the skating experiences you had under those car parks, and mm. you know, making something out of nothing, so to speak, that's you right. know, creating your own play. Um, do you think that's at risk with, you know, from graph to skating to whatever, even battle rapid and sound systems? You know, those kind of impromptu, creative, explosive. That's all gone. It's gone, isn't it? That's all gone. That is all gone. Um, the, the, you know, it's quite cool that they, you know, got skate parks for kids. Mm. So that's fantastic. But it doesn't mean they can't skate in the street. Yeah. That hasn't... Because they, they, then you're losing it then. Yeah, Because yeah. basically, it was street stuff. It was street yeah. skating. Mm. You know, you can have skate parks for them. That's cool. But don't keep, take away the essence of the skating, yeah. you know, or the essence of... Uh, the graph, you know, I have comp competitions for graph, and mm. it's no, 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 no. Like it's nice in its place, but it's then nice in its place. You've got to have, have the rough, and and, they, and the same with you know, I guess any genre, anything that's that comes from the ground up, you've got to respect that architects and the people that are still doing it mm. for the, you mm. know, the, like you say, the skate parks are just the training grounds. It, that's all they are. Yeah, and, uh, and the same with the Hall of Fames, I guess yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Used to be the other way around with Hall of Fames, but nowadays yeah, it's no, more like the, the, the testing ground for. Getting out there, um, skateboarding. Because I know you were a skater before you were into graph. You were like, you well, were... yeah, I was a skate. Yeah, that's yeah, I was because I started when I was like eleven. No, I was certainly in the seventies. Mm. You know, crazy. You <laughs> get in the seventies. I started skating in the seventies. Uh, but um, yeah, before yeah, before all of this. Um, so it was all you know. Now where he oh, he's a professional skateboarder. It's like what. You know, Man. I remember Tony Hawk saying he was a professional skateboarder, la -dee -dee, and he didn't understand how it could happen. But, mm. you know, now you've got professional skateboarders. <laughs> <laughs> when did that happen? How could that happen? Oh, but yeah. it's good that it's happened because people are getting paid, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, how did Ortega skateboards come about? Ortega skate... Um, <clears throat> I don't... It started with me being injured. Basically, and mm. so sort of like I couldn't skate anymore. Mm. My knee, my knee just went. Um, I've got an ACL problem, and uh, so I decided, you know what? I'd I'd made some money on because I've got a, I had got another company called Flying Visit, which is just a mad kind of alien. It was to do with um, it was it was around the early nineties. 
You remember the X Files? Yeah, of course. Yeah, all right. So it's about aliens, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it was about Google aliens. That shit. So I was trying to make them more kind mm. of like uh, more jovial and more jokey. So I'll do these little aliens yeah. doing certain things, flying down from the helicopters <laughs> and all kinds of mm. driving kind of. Um, Volkswagen Beetles. Sounds like some laughing frog shit. You know, yeah, yeah, you're just getting doing stuff. Just, just you just got to create. You know what I mean? And I'm doing it, and um, this guy liked it. I don't know if you remember. Have a nice day. It used to be not yes, your gate. Of course. He used to be my distributor. Yeah. So he took it on and started selling it all over the place to Australia, bloody for Spain, and it was. I did all right with it. You know. And then Ortega came back about after my injury, and I was like. You know, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, I didn't know how to name it. I didn't know. So I was looking back at photographs, and a friend of mine, um, no, wait a I was looking at photographs for names because I went to San Francisco with my wife, and there was a work, there was an, a, a, a street called um, Ortega Boulevard or whatever it was, mm. and um, I was like, I don't like that. Very cool name, isn't it? It's a cool. It's cool, yeah. and then not only that. Um, and I worked. I, I looked up the name Ortega, and it was he was a Sandinista. I don't know if you know. What's a Sandinista? He, they, these were rebels from the. They hated Americans, basically. <laughs> it's terrible, but they were. <laughs> re, re, they hated Reagan and Bush and all that kind of stuff. They were all fighting for their la, for their their lands. That's incredible. Yeah. So I was like Ortega. That's a good name. And yeah. then my friend Fraser Campbell. Who was a skater? I said, "Yeah, Ortega's a great name." Uh, you know what I mean? So I went with Ortega, and um, it was. So I didn't. You know, I, I'd, I'd learnt to print. You remember before I was telling you, I'd learnt to print. I'd learnt to uh, how to get boards. Mm -hmm. So I was getting boards from uh, Canada, and then I, then I started getting boards from Spain. Jart, a place, a company called Jart. Mm. Um, and we started printing these boards, and it was fantastic. Uh, we we entered competitions and done. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We did uh, demos and stuff, and it was. <laughs> it's really odd to sort of like get out of a van with these youngsters that I used to win my, my team basically. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It's it like people freaking problem, out. Though. It was yeah. like, wow. Mm -hmm. So we ended we ended entered a competition in uh, what is now the I don't know what is the Millennium Dome. What's that now? Um, o2 Centre yeah, or something Centre. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we entered a competition there, and um, there were sixteen companies, skate companies in England, and they offered us. You know, I was like, oh God, Jesus, here we go. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was speaking to the the guy who who was my partner. Um, it's like, boy, you know what, Jamie? I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do this. He goes, yeah, we should do it. We should do it. Mm -hmm. I was like, listen, as long as we don't come last, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was over a weekend. On the Sunday, we were in third place. Yeah, we were in third place. Oh, it was. Oh, we had a good team, really good team. You know wow. what I mean? Now you don't realize until you see him skating with other riders, and you're yeah. like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These yeah. are my boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dog Town Z boy yeah, shit. They're serious, just, yeah. serious guys. But one of the guys, a bit of a rebel, you know what I mean? A bit of a boy, you know what I mean? He met a girl that night, Saturday night, went and stayed at this girl's house. He was uh, one of our baddest riders, mm. you know what I mean? Spent, he, he, he missed his, um, his, run, his run on the, on the Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we ended up in fourth and missed the money. You know what I mean? But See, hey, a lesson what? to all out there. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> uh -huh. Concentrate, do yeah. it. You know? Concentrate. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he was... Uh... What's the process in, in creating a brand, like a, a skate brand? Like, do you have to have, is it certain words that you have to approve for the, for the no, boards? No, no, boards are... Well, you can. You can yeah. do that. They have different boards. Boards are different shapes, different widths, different concave. Because they crush them, don't they? They put they, loads yeah, of different yeah, woods. Yeah, yeah. They, no, they put... It's ma mainly maple. Right. Yeah, it's mainly maple, but they're glued and, and pressed. And they're flattened hard. They're flattened they? really hard. And like they overnight, them. and that shapes... Them. No, they, then they shape them on the machine. Um, but they have um, different noses, different tails, different concave. Mm. Yeah, different bases. Mm. You know, to print the bases, to have... Design this stuff on Illustrator and then send it off, and then the board comes back. It's like, oh my god! Oh my god! That must be it's good. so beautiful just to see yeah, your yeah. design. No, you can't have it. You're <laughs> scratching, motherfucker. Get at it. But you know, you know, 
Oh, I used to love it. I used to love it. Yeah. Who designed the board? Because, you know, this is... I designed all the boards. You designed all the boards. All the boards. I was a designer. That yeah. is such a feat. How many boards did you design? I designed, oh, God, maybe seven, eight. Seven, eight designs yeah. as, as it went on. Um, but one of the first ones I did was... Uh, it was dedicated to a guy who was... Oh, this is a good story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he used to hang out in 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 Kaffner Park in Shepherd's Bush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to hang out. Park, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And this kid used to come around, and uh, he used to have a skateboard, and they used to call him uh, the Bring Out Kid because he never got you know bring in. If you get brought out, you ain't you ain't do nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so he, he had a skateboard. And I was like, Yo, Bok, give me your get Bok. Mm -hmm. Used to call him. Mm -hmm. Get this guy on your board. Because I used to skate mm -hmm. and I stopped skating and then I sang out smoking puffing in the, in the park. And I was like, boy, yeah, I used to do this. And all my mates are like, what, Rick, you can skate? I'm like, yeah, man. I used to be a bad skater, you know what I mean? I, she you know, just I burn him, did you? Yo. So I got into it again. You know, I got into it. But the first board I brought out was dedicated to Bok. That's yeah. Cold. Yeah. It, it was dedicated because if it wasn't for him, you see, these are these. Well, are the ones. wheels don't move or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, it was right. It was an old board, you know what I mean. But it was. But if it wasn't for him, yeah. then would there be all taker? Yeah, because Do you, you understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was there. Some, you know, as a conduit to the the thing again. Isn't yeah. it? That's, that's amazing. But you know, it's very. That's very responsive of you. You know what I mean? Like you got. You, you got. You got. Was it in in, in interested? People are interesting. That's the terminology. Big up Akira the Don for that one. Uh, who, who? Akira the Don, my, my mate in LA. Oh, he right, signs right. a full of his emails with um, interested people are interesting. interesting. Yeah, wow. Well, uh, yeah, that makes sense. It, that, it, I like that. It's true, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to be interested. You've got to be bloody... You've got to be... You've got to be awake. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, you know, I, the one thing I say to my boy, he goes out on the... Saturday, Friday night, whenever, any night, to tell you the truth, I just say to him, just be aware. Mm. Be aware, you mm. know, don't just walk into a place. Huh? Yeah, no, yeah, you, yeah, that doesn't work. You Look just got to be aware. Look around, see what's going on. Mm. The amount of times I've been at a party and left in time, just in time, yeah. and people say to me, Rick, man, you left just in time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got, the police came, knocked out this geezer, mm. this mm. guy got stabbed. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, you got to be aware. Yeah. Just got to be aware, you know. I don't go anywhere. Yeah, you know. but also for, uh, in very much so, mm. and and it, I guess to the, to the same measure from a creative point of view, you've you've got to want it enough. And just going back to the the working class of it all, mm. you know, the, the the making something out of nothing thing, you've got to really fucking want it. Yeah, well, hard. You know, you you got to want it, but you got to see it as well. Visualize it. You got to see it. You got to sort of like say, oh yeah, look at that. You know what? I've done that before. That'd be wicked with that. Mm. You know what I mean? That'll go well with that. Oh, I could use. I could glue that onto there, and you know all these. these... But where does that com where does that confidence come from? It's not confidence. I'm not a confident person at all. So what is that? I don't know. It's definitely confidence. It's like you've got to be very self aware. I'm confident in myself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm confident in myself, but I'm not confident in the way the world works. Mm. I'm just not, I just, it's too erratic. It's too mad. So I have to just do it on my, I do my thing in my way. Mm. You know, it's the only way to do it, you know. But on reflection though, that what we've talked to a lot about here is the serendipity of everything and how, yeah, how things work together. Yeah, so it? there is chaos, I guess the chaos theory, there is, it's organised confusion, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, there's, yeah, it is. <laughs> You know, the whole world is conf is a confusing place. Yeah. And if you can find some sort of yeah. organisation that makes it... Take the, conf the confusion and just settle it down. Yeah. <laughs> just settle it down because you've got to. You've got to. I've got to. I think about people like Steven Spielberg and how the fuck he does what he does. Yeah. And, you know, just, you know, these are people that shit and piss like the rest of us. It's like something's in, and it ain't in the water. No. This is a, a, this is an application of writers, writers and going out and just, <laughs> to anyone that's ever 
tried climbing to the lengths that a graffiti writer will climb to get to where he wants to. You know. I don't get it, mate. I look at. <laughs> yeah. Just no. on levels and like you, even once you get to the place, it's like oh, I've got to paint now. Yeah. Never mind having to go back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean it's just fucking bonkers. Oh, writers, man, I just I can't I, uh, respect me yeah. because um, crazy. It, it didn't it never started like this for us, you know. But I see, I just the fact that different pressure cans and mm. different caps and mm. different. I just, I'm just I re respect Ed. The, these people. Who were writers who decided, yeah, all right, this is what it needs to have. We need caps. Mm. We need different f way to flow the mm. paint flows. We need different pressures to we really need, elevate. Yeah, we need to just keep it. Good. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's true. It's the same thing. Yeah, you know, you just got to progress. It's progression. Yeah, you know. Without hurting anyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it not hurt anybody. Don't try any of this stuff we're talking about at home, though. No, it will, it will no. come back and bite you. Um, stay safe and all that. These are nice little stories, you understand. <laughs> not for joining in. Um, you went to uh, foundation. You did, off the back of all your art. Yeah. You did foundation. This was I did a, a foundation course. I did it, l l l you know, as an older man. How was that? Know? I was uh, scary at first because... Um, I, after three weeks, I was like, you know, well, I don't know if this is for me. I don't do the art speak. I don't do the, yeah. you know, I don't go to the galleries. I don't. And then on the third week, after I decided I was going to leave, I came, I, someone said to me, I'll oh, come back, do one, at least one more week. Mm -hmm. So I went back for the last week and we did something I really love. It was perspective drawing. Woo! Yeah, so it was like, oh yeah, this is this is me. It's a bit me now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. I can do this, and it, it just rolled on from there. And other people who you think know what they're talking about and are, are more uh, progressive than yourself, they're just like you. Mm. There's, no, there's no, we're all learning, and you realise that they need me as much as I need them. Mm. You know. We need each other. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about, you know. And um, that course was just just woke me up, just woke me up, and just sort of like, you know. I remember one of the tutors saying to me, "Oh, you want to give up that graffiti thing?" I'm like, "No, I don't. No, 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 no." no, no. See how much money's being made out here nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's not even that. It's just that I don't want to do it. It's too creative. It's too mm. nice. It's too the light. You know. I learned about marks. And lines, and mm. you know, you can't get them marks with anything else mm. except a spray can. Yes, yeah, true. You know what I mean? It's you true. can't. I've been trying to reproduce it with a paintbrush, and it's really hard. It just really, doesn't work. It doesn't in the same work. Way. It's a dance. It's to a it. different thing. Yeah, it'll be a. Di it'll come out a different thing. You know. Um, just before we start recording, actually, because you know, generationally, we're now in this place where it's influenced so much graffiti and street culture, and music. You know, fifty years of of you know hip hop oh, being in the world, and you know <laughs> nah. it's it's influences like you say. If it's a straight pen stroke, trying to replicate what a paint can can do, you know these these small incremental steps that lead to a bigger picture mm. in marketing and campaigning. You know, candy bar um, wrappers, yeah, skateboard that's right. that's products. Right. Like this shit. I mean, okay, there's others. Obviously, there's the tattoo culture, you know, oh. the, the Americana culture and stuff. But, dude, like, yo, like the graffiti and, and everything, it's just unmissable in modern day society. You can't go anywhere in the world without seeing graph. Yeah. I went to Cuba. I saw graph in Cuba. Mm -hmm. And if you see Cuba, it's like it, it looks war torn from a distance. When you get in there, it's beautiful. I love that shit. It's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, and, and all them posters I'm telling you about ripped up oh and stuff, there God. was all of that there, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, you know, oh, there's no. not a place in the world where graffiti hasn't, you know, touched and now skateboarding, uh, you know. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the social media platforms have excelled, accelerated that, mm. that uh, attention is even more. Maybe fractioned the cultures a little bit. You know, mm. beatboxing has its own yeah, 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 yeah. culture of people and then you've got your skateboarders and you've got your tattoos. Like, you, you, it's disposable in a lot of senses because if you want something, you'll find it on a hashtag. But mm. uh, that being said, 
I always think of skateboarding, right? Like, if, if a girl can afford to take 80 photos of herself before she gets a perfect selfie, how many times do you, does it take to get the perfect trick? Ah, oh, man. You see, I've seen people try sort of like a 10 stair set. Break his ankle. <gasps> yeah. Break his toe or break something. Break his wrist. Go to hospital, get it sorted, la di dee to recuperate, uh, la di dee he comes back. Five months later, four months later, I try the same damn trick just to make it. <laughs> yeah? That's what skaters are, that's what skate. that's what, that's what impresses me with skaters. Well, it just touches me yeah. when I think about what people will do just to do that, just to make that trick. The amount of times you try it to get it, and then once you get it, it's perfect. Mm. Because, well, not perfect, because there isn't such a thing as perfect. Mm. But it's it's on point. Because you've tried it so many times, so many times, so many times, so many times, and then it, you get it that one, start, that one time you realize, ah, I get it. You know, wow. skating, skateboarding is fantastic. Mm. To, to, I'll be honest with you. Skateboarding is just, and I realise snowboarding is also the same kind of thing. You got into snowboarding? I got into snowboarding, yeah. yeah. I got into snowboarding because I got ill. And, uh, you know, I, you know, I'm an asthmatic. And for years, my wife has been saying to me, oh, we should go skiing. We should, I'm like, oh, fuck off. Mm -hmm. I don't do that shit, you know what I mean? I'm Grove, man. And I'm <laughs> Grove, isn't it? I'm Grove, why do we don't do that? You know what I mean? And then eventually I got sick and then my, I'm an asthmatic and the doctor said to me, um, you know what, maybe you should go, if you can get some fresh air, go to Wales, go to... I was like, you know what, I'm going to try this, this skiing. I'll go, yeah. out, not skiing, but I'll yeah. go up into the mountains. And I realised I could rent out a snowboard. And that was it. Oh, that was it? That was it. I was like, I was hooked. And Isn't now it my faster? Is it faster than a skateboard? It looks fucking hairy. It's fast. It's really fast. But it's, it, it, it's not the same as skateboarding. The only thing that's similar to skateboarding is when you're riding sideways. And that's the end of it. Yeah, that's the only thing that's similar. You you have edges. That's mm. what it is. Uh, yeah, you're on the edges. On on a uh, truck, on a, on a skateboard, you have trucks, and you just lean and yeah. it'll turn. Yeah. But you need to be on the edges. So to you slow really need to cut in. You yeah, really you to, yeah, you have to so do. You, it. Buck, you bend your knees a lot more into the. You bend curve. you bend your knees, and the faster you're going, the the, the bent your knees, the more bent your knees have to be to stop. <gasps> yeah. But it's uh, once you get it, it's like fantastic. It's just oh my god, my son now who I used to take, we started taking as a kid, who was a three year old, four year old, five year old, got two of them. Um, he's now a snowboard instructor in Whistler, uh, in Canada, and he ain't coming back. Yo. <laughs> he's not coming back. Now if that ain't poetic, yeah, well you know, yeah. But we have been lucky. I have been lucky. You know. It, it, I, you know, a lot of luck comes comes into this. Mm. You know, you know. You see, I got. You know, I live in my own house. A lot of people don't live in their own house, but you got. I do realize that um, it's not easy for everyone, and it's harder now than it has been for a long time. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is indeed. It is indeed. But the future is bright. The future is bright. What you got going on? When? Where can we get hold of you? Where can we find your information and get your uh, uh, art? Oh God! You know what? All I can say to you is like I'm building a website at the moment for my art. Um, I've got to go and see a photographer at the end of the next week. Um, but you can, if you go into, uh, if you go to Ortega Ricks, O R T E G A R I X, okay, on Instagram, you'll there find is. you find my stuff. Maybe not updated for a little while because you got locked out or something. That's like right. That. I'm not in it, on it. I got locked out. So, but everyone else can get on it, but I can't get on my own kind charming. of thing. Charming. Huh? Well, there's all those also the fly and visit kind of um, thing that I was talking about. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that's on there as well. But you just got to put in fly and visit. There's only a few stuff, few bits and pieces on there. But yeah, check it out. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Chase inside the place. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny because that's what I used to write, man. Chase Yo! <laughs> See? That's it. Staying on that serendipity vibe, man. Hold tight, everybody. Thank you for joining us. As usual, Sharon's caring. Tell a friend to tell a friend. All right, calm down, pay, but neither did they, all right? Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. Stay lucky, people. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>